<laughs> I just woke up, but I'm eager to open my new toy up and my brother Keith loves unboxing videos so I decided I'm gonna make a video unboxing it even though I don't even watch unboxing videos so I'm not even sure how that all goes I, <laughs> I guess EJ does Joe you watch unboxing videos Occasionally. okay so I'm sure we'll be able to figure this out anyway my brother loves unboxing videos so I'm gonna do an unboxing video for him cuz I can't wait to dig into my new toy yeah so yesterday I went to the mall in Cincinnati and they have $500 off the Alienware computer. And then I went to the casino and won, so I went back to the mall and picked it up. <laughs> there we go. So now I have to take this out. That's not very much unboxing, huh? It's already set. Fade away and then turn it on. And then... Ah, okay. Yeah, this is my new editing machine for doing videos. Now I gotta figure out what to do to upgrade it. Oh, there's our cords. They're Pretty well damn. boxed, time to say. I like the way it was packaged. Yeah, it's a nice box. Sturdy. Alright, I guess it. that's it? Yep, that's that, which is documentation, and that, which is your input. So now we just put this here. Bam! Unboxed. I wasn't even sure if I really wanted to get this, because here's my old laptop, and this has a 4K screen. It's a Dell and Spirion, but it's a quad-core i7, 960M graphics, and a 4K screen. This one has one generation processor newer. It's a 7700, where the other, that's, I guess, the 8000 series is just coming out, so I guess that's why it was $500 off. This has a 1060 video card, so I'm sure it'll be much better at editing and rendering and all that for my videos, because the 1060 is a way better technology than the 960. Also with Alienware, I get this port right here where I can hook an external amplifier up with full computer, what do you call it, full desktop video card. Only issues with this computer. Yeah, no slot for an SD card. And the other thing is it's only 1080. My old one had a 4K screen, but that's okay because I always use an external monitor anyways. Maybe I should have waited until I was more awake to make this video, <laughs> but I couldn't help but open the PC up now. All right, it is way too early. Maybe this will help with the rest of the video. EJ's so freaking noisy. Hey, I sneeze and cough twice, okay? <sighs> Maybe that'll wake my mind up a little bit better for this video. <laughs> right now we're searching Amazon for upgrades, but I'm looking at storage that I can keep inside my computer instead of having to hook something like these up. I have this one, I have this one. Yeah, if I can have everything inside the computer, that'd be great. Everybody wants my computer. First, EJ says, oh, I want the Alienware. EJ, I was going to give this to him. This is a 4K badass computer, and EJ didn't want it. I don't want a laptop. I want a desktop computer. But then he's seen the Alienware, and he wants that. Even Joe now is like, hmm, maybe I'll go pick that computer up. At, at $500 off on this, it's not bad at all. I only paid 1200 bucks for this. Of course, I need to do some upgrades, and upgrades are going to make the price jump up way, 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 way up. We're watching some YouTube videos on reviews and stuff, and it's got three M.2 slots. Regular hard drive slot, it takes 32 gigs of RAM, up to 32. It only comes with 16. Yeah, before I even start to set my computer up, I got to go get some M.2s and stuff, because the 7200 RPM hard drive just ain't going to do it for what I'm using it for. Because I think I'm going to go ahead and start setting my cameras to 4K. Even though this video is not 4K, I think I'm going to start doing 4K soon. Alright, so one dope thing right off the bat. The plug plugs into the back of the computer. I know that doesn't sound like a big deal, but it's so annoying having plugs sticking out the sides. So things plugging into the back, much, much nicer. Alright, so first off, turn this puppy on. Oh, look, there it goes. <laughs> I, I expected the alien face to light up. <sighs> this may turn into a problem. I was told at the Microsoft store that the latest update doesn't work correctly with the Alienware and not to do the latest update. But when I turned it on, it looks like it automatically wants to do all the updates. So let's hope we don't run into blue screens and stuff because it's still going to be a couple weeks before they come out with the fix for the latest update on the Alienware.
I know, this is a boring part. I'll turn it back on with the good stuff. I don't know where my alien control center is, but you see these lights lit up blue, and you have that side light. Oh, that's pretty dope. So you can set the keys individually different colors. So you can have like a rainbow of colors. Raven would like that. Hex alien fusion. Oh my gosh, there's too much stuff here. But so far pretty dope. Ah, so Joe just told me these are programmable buttons here. So uh, actually that might be really useful in video editing. I could program pushing a key to write my email. Yeah, you could. So I don't have to write it anymore. Dope, that's pretty cool, that could be useful. This is ridiculously slow, we gotta do something about that right now. Time to add this little bugger right here, 500, uh, 500 gig M.2, this needs to be in there. Joe's our tech guy. Probably, yeah. It's snapped in. Yeah, they normally are snapped in, you normally like an oh. edge. Oh, that's scary, scary sounding. Especially with that. Alright, now let's, that let me see that. Installing the M.2. The M.2 is not showing up, and I'm not sure how to find it. It's being a pain to set up, but I'm sure once it's set up, it's going to be great. Getting everything set up the right way. <sighs> not a computer nerd. I know a little bit about computers, but usually when you plug a hard drive in, it shows up. Okay, it is a week later. I worked this week, ordered some stuff from Amazon, and getting ready to finish my computer build. Here's my stuff from Amazon. So I have the Alienware computer. I got 32 gigs of RAM. At Micro Center, I went and picked up a GTX 1080 video card. I got the Alienware amplifier to add that in. D Brands, I got a carbon fiber skin to add to my laptop. And an NSA pre-check approved Alienware laptop bag. So I'm going to finish building this, get it all put together, and do some more unboxing. First I'll open up the RAM. Pretty dope. Had to get this one, it says Vengeance on it, that just sounds right for my build. Yeah, let's get this. Oh. Woo -hoo -hoo, there it is. Always wanted a graphics amplifier. This is so that I can use the video card with the laptop. And I can use it as like a docking station with all the USB ports and everything on the back. So anytime I want to move my laptop, I just unplug it and go. Everything else stays connected to this. Next up, my GeForce GTX 1080 card. So this came with stickers and a big poster. We'll be putting that on the laptop or on the case. Here it is. Here's the bottom of the video card. There's the top. PCI board's even got a cover on it. Yeah. Okay, so next up, D Brands Carbon Fiber Skin. It's not a product, it's a culture. All I got was the carbon fiber for the top of the laptop. As far as the effect on the carbon, of course it's not real carbon fiber, but it looks pretty good actually. Joe said that he is not good with putting skins on and he wants nothing to do with that, so I'll go ahead and do that part before he gets back. D Brands has a video on how to apply the skin, so I think I'm going to watch that before I do it get a little refreshed, make sure I do it right. I think I got it a little bit high, but not too bad. I really don't want to take a lighter to my new laptop. Yeah, loving this. And while I'm at it, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and order some of that 3M 5D carbon sticker so I can uh, wrap this to match my laptop. Joe just got back and he is threatening to go lay down and take a nap. No, 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 we have to do the video card now. Okay, it's recording now. I just messed up. We did all this stuff, all this talking and joking and everything else. It actually had some excitement to the video now. But I didn't hit record on the camera. To go back and redo it just ain't gonna be right. So this video card says it needs 500 watts minimum. This power supply is 460 watts. 
It does look like a full power supply that you could switch out with a different one. But we are we are reading the fine print, and the 500 minimum is meant for a computer. So that would be one that has that's running a Intel i7 processor and blah 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 blah. So this is going to work just fine because this only takes 200 watts max to run. So since this has no processors, hard drives, and all that other stuff, we'll be just fine. Joe, you should be doing this, not me. What, what's going on here? I'm going to break it. All right. So pretty. Power there. Cable for the laptop there. But I think we need to install software and stuff on it now. So there's the new benchmark. Now we're going to do it with the amplifier. The 1080 GTX card. Okay, so getting this thing to work is not a plug and play and go. We had to install the drivers and everything else. Like, it, it seen that there was something there, but it didn't work because it wasn't the correct driver. So we had to manually tell it to download the drivers and hopefully it will start working now. We are still sitting with a screen like this waiting for it to load. It has been over 10 minutes. There's no way the drivers take that long to load. So just, just letting everybody know if you get this set up, it's not as plug and play simple as you think it might, as you think it should be. <laughs> Back to the same loading screen. I'm sure once we get it all figured out and set up, it'll be fine after that. But so far, it's a pain to set up. So, turn that off, unplugged it, rebooting the computer without it, and we're stuck at this crap again. I guess we're gonna have to boot in safe mode and uninstall whatever's been done or whatever, cause still not starting up. Pain in the ass, but now we got it booted into safe mode and we have to roll back the operating system to where it worked before. This really is bullshit. I've seen nobody else with all these issues or anything. Maybe they're just all the tech channels that do the Alienware amplifier are too uh, afraid to admit that they have mess ups and everything. But we just went to Chipotle and got something to eat and came back. Still not working right. I was like, sorry Joe man, I'm sorry to get you involved in all this. He's like, yeah, you could look at it one way. That damn, this sucks and all this extra work and everything. Or you could be like, hey look, a puzzle. <laughs> That's so hilarious. Like, you're welcome, Joe. I gave you something to problem solve and enjoy. <laughs> Keep you busy for hours. <laughs> okay, we are up and running this time. So what you need to do is you need to install the drivers to the graphics card you got that's inside of the amplifier before, before hooking it up. Oh, you need to do that without letting Windows do it on its own. Then it ran fine, no problem. So running my new benchmark test now to see how this compares to what's on board. Well, that's not very impressive. The score just went up a little bit using the 1080 card. I mean, maybe that little bit is considered a lot, but it doesn't seem like a lot to me. This freaking computer has some weird eye tracking stuff. I was looking down at my phone, texting and stuff, and the screen went dim. And I just moved my eyes and looked up at the screen and it brightened back up. That's weird. That needs turned off. I, every time I walk away from the computer, look, it's dim. Then it got bright when I sat down and looked at it. Strange, strange stuff. I think, yeah, I'm turning that off. All right, got it all set up and complete. Everything's working. Just got one more thing to unbox. All right, last thing. I'm gonna say last but not least, but it probably is least. Last thing, got the Alienware laptop bag. That's not the pre-checked. I have a Dell one that's pre-checked too. I really like that. Made sure that if I ever got another laptop bag, it was also pre-checked. Now this has got some clips to keep it from opening all the way. I don't know why you would have those. So, this is where this goes. Let's try it out. <laughs> wow, tight fit. So I don't like these things. I might cut these out. I don't like this at all. <sighs> Ready to go? It's pretty big, thick. All right, I'm gonna take my computer out of here since it's still running. And this isn't as solid feeling as my Dell one. I mean, it looks like it's 
okay, but this is like a rubber. Ah, so the zippers for the laptop actually are blue and the other ones are black. The tablet pocket, bigger pocket for papers or whatever. Doesn't open all the way either. What is with none of these? I don't know, I guess that one doesn't need to. Two pockets here. This bag was inspected by James. All right, thanks James. It's okay. This is like a rubber with the alien face, so that's cool. Um, got a nice soft padded back to it. That's it.